Uh, hi everybody, I'm Ben, I'm the founder of FarmDrop and I just wanted to take a second to say a few very heartfelt thank yous. Uh, thank you first of all to the whole of the FarmDrop team and especially the hub and delivery team who really are our front line. You know, every time you ring on a customer's doorbell with a smile like Tony did yesterday, uh, you're doing something really great. You should be feeling really proud about that. Every time, if you're working in the hub, you're putting a customer order together, you're also doing something really great. You should be feeling really proud about that. Thank you very much. Um, and I know that it's hard right now. We have tripled in in size, essentially, since the crisis hit, and that doesn't happen by itself. That means new people that we need to train and look out for and help on board. It means building new capacity in the hub and shelving units and extra vans and more producers and looking after the ones who are already on the platform properly. And I just think that everybody is putting together incredibly well. I'm very, very proud of the whole of the Farm Group team. Thank you. Please keep going and keep up with your amazing work. Um, thank you also to all of our amazing food and drink producers. I know that right now you and your teams are working hard on your farms, on your fishing boats, in your packing sheds, in your bakeries, in your, in your butchers. And um, if you didn't do that, we wouldn't have any food. So it's incredible and thank you. Um, I'm really delighted also that we've onboarded some great new producers who've other routes to market have, have been blocked. So, so that's r really good to know as well. It doesn't surprise me that as sustainable food producers, you are being so resilient, but it certainly does make me feel really proud. Finally, thank you to all of our customers. Um, I also wanted to give you a bit of an update in terms of what we're doing. I know from personal experience that getting a slot on farm drop has been pretty hard recently. We're continuing to open more slots every single day. In fact, we shared an update yesterday around switching all of our slots live around 4 p.m. to signal to everybody that's when they're going live and to try and take the traffic away from times other than that period. So we hope that's gonna really improve things. And you know we're not gonna stop adding capacity and adding slots until we really have a sense that everybody who wants one is getting one. Um, we've also brought in lots of new safety measures, um, contactless deliveries, extra cleaning, uh, gloves and masks for anybody handling food. Um, but it's also really important to say that other than being forced to lease some non-electric vans on a temporary basis, just because basically we felt it was more important to get food to our customers and have to, for a temporary period, sacrifice our electric only claim. So, so we, we're doing that for a temporary basis. But other than that, the, the sourcing policy remains unchanged. Our dedication to uh, highest animal welfare and highest food quality remains unchanged. And, you know, frankly, having a food system that is better for our health and our planet and indeed the animals in it uh, feels like it is more important now than it ever has been before. Um, I really appreciate everybody's support and, and, and their patience as well. Um, we are gonna get through this, I know we are. And um, in the meantime, I wish everybody very well. Thanks for watching, bye.